So we're worried about in, uh, instability with this patient on the way in. So one of the things that we did imply was the uh, entitled capnography with the non-invasive nasal prongs along with the non-rebreather because we did not have her intubated. What this is going to give us an indication of is cardiac output. Uh, obviously, the higher the numbers, the better the cardiac output. It's also going to give us a determination of the field as to how unstable the patient actually is. So if we were looking at her with a capnography level in the teens, we know this patient already has a decreased cardiac output. So we're going to move a little bit quicker, give a little bit more fluid, try to increase that cardiac output. Um, when you guys uh, intubate her as well in the field, we use the inline capnography, and that's going to be our primary determination as to whether or not the uh, endotracheal tube is in the trachea. Okay, and that's also going to continue to provide us with numbers relating to cardiac output.